Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthy magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. is dead. Oh, my.
Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, has overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brethren, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is and is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are of the earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will be joyful and glad in Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens all the dough? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be new dough, as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out, of, out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying and the napkin which had been on his head not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Alleluia, Christ is risen. It most probably was a throwaway comment or just a, just a sort of question, really. And it was from someone who has no faith, or I do not know if they have faith, but they said it's really quite odd because he knew that I was getting ready for all that has happened in this last week, culminating in the vigil where the Alleluia is restored, where we say for the first time after the death on Friday, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He says it's very funny because it's the Easter weekend. And we're all going out doing Easter weekend things. Getting drunk. Having a feast. Doing all those things that you should do when it's a holiday. And yet you Christians are busy. So let's have a little homily on each drink can be merry and tomorrow we die. Yes. Where there is a better way. There is a better way not to say, well, of course I'm a Christian, I, I don't drink and I don't do this, I don't do that. But actually to say, yes, eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow. There is the kingdom of heaven. That is why we feast today. That is why we don't begin Easter sometime after work 
on Thursday or Friday. For Christ has won for us eternal life. Christ has given us restoration. Not so that we may return to the garden as wonderful and as beautiful as it was for Adam and Eve. but to be totally and utterly in the presence of God. Perfect love. Truth. Where, as in Revelation, we are reminded there is no more death. No more crying. Now that is worth celebrating. But, you would think, you would think that with such a wonderful thing that humanity is restored, when it came to Easter Day, that first day of the week, when Christ is alive, as it were, it should have been more than the greatest Hollywood trumpets. But as in the vigil when we reintroduce the Alleluia, the first time we chant it, it is quiet. And then as it goes up a semitone, or roughly a semitone, it becomes louder. When Christ rises from the dead, most people did not notice. It would be when Christ's followers obedience to him went out and proclaimed that Christ is risen the people through the Holy Spirit had their lives changed so that they no longer thought let us eat and be merry for tomorrow we die but let us rejoice that tomorrow there is heaven. When we come to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we do so by having in our hearts, especially when we come to Mass and hear those resurrection stories, the complexity the quietness, the questioning, and then the rejoicing. In the Gospel account of today from John's Gospel, part of me wants to say when you get to Mary Mag Magdalene, well, let's, let's have her story because it is just so beautiful. That indeed, she wasn't drinking and be merry, she was weeping. And then hears the voice and her tears are turned to joy when she says, Rabboni. But that is not our story of today, the gospel of today. Neither is it as it will be that road to Emmaus when again those people running away, fearful, have their hearts changed by Christ as the word is opened. And then when the bread is broken, what do they see but the resurrection? No, we have the accounts where St. Peter and St. John 
run, run to the tomb. And there's always a danger, maybe it's just me, but there's always a danger when you have St. Peter in the story, you kind of concentrate on St. Peter. And the fact he gets in the tomb first. But then maybe in the quietness of the text, then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in. And he saw and believed. One of the great joys for us as the Christian community, as Christians, as Catholics, is to hear the stories again. And having those moments where we share our faith not just with our brothers and sisters who are here, not just with our brothers and sisters throughout the world, but with those first disciples, those first people to proclaim that Christ is risen. And we will rejoice as the number increases And indeed the most unlikeliest candidates, those who persecuted, those who were violent in their hearts, then began to say, Christ is risen. It is our privilege to come and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because... By celebrating it, we are celebrating life. Celebrating life where we live in a culture of death. What are the things that people will talk to us about, maybe have arguments with us about, is the right to die the right to take life away from the unborn child, the right to take arms. And in our world, those rights, as we see in the Holy Land today, are no rights at all. But instead of being actually merry, we just weep. And the only way through for us not to live in that kind of death, because there are many kinds of death, is to live in the life of Christ, who has taken death, evil, violence, and overcome it by offering himself as the sacrifice, dying for us, rising for us. So after this Mass, I cannot order you, but go. Eat, drink, and be merry. For Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Would you please stand? And so we now come to our renewal of baptismal promises, after which I will take water from the font and then sprinkle with that water, the water of life given to us by God. Dearly beloved brethren, on this most holy day, our Mother Church, the Church, calling to mind the death and burial of our Lord Jesus Christ, rendereth unto him love for love, and hath kept vigil, awaiting his glorious resurrection, now rejoiceth with great gladness. But since, as the Apostle teaches us, 
We have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death. So like as Christ was raised up from the dead, we too should walk in newness of life. Knowing this, that our na old nature is crucified with him, but henceforth we should not serve sin. Let us reckon ourselves, therefore, to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Wherefore, dearly beloved brethren, now that our Lenten exercises are over, let us renew the promises made in holy baptism, whereby we once renounced Satan and all his works, and likewise the world, which is the enemy of God, and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. Therefore I ask you, do you renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, with all covetous desires of the same, and the sinful desires of the flesh, so that you will not follow, nor be led by them? I do. Let us recite the articles of our belief. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Will you endeavour to keep God's holy will and commandments, and walk in the same all the days of your life. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath regenerated us by water and the Holy Spirit, and hath given unto us forgiveness of all our sins, himself guard us by his grace unto everlasting life. In the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
With all our heart, with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For the peace of the world this Easter tide, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For Francis, our Pope, Keith, our Ordinary, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and all God's holy people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For Charles, our King, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, that they may seek the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For all children born and unborn, for parents and for all families, especially for those for whom we now pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For seasonal weather and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For deliverance more danger and violence, we pray for those who suffer from the violence of war, particularly holding in our prayers the holy lands, that it may become once again a place of pilgrimage and peace for the peoples of Ukraine and Russia, that they too may have peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, and for the sick and suffering, particularly holding in our prayers Sharon, Brian, Roger, Barney, Adrian, Father John, Father Michael, Stephen, Malcolm, Mary, Vince, Karen, Claire, Sandra, Corazon, Anne, Hugh, Dinah, Michael, Pam, his Majesty the King and the Princess of Wales. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for hostages, for prisoners, and for their families, and for all who care and remember them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful departed of this parish, for those we love who have died, and for all who have departed this life in the hope of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. That we may end our lives in faith and hope, without suffering and without reproach, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In communion with all the saints, especially of our blessed Lady, Mary, Mother of God, let us commend ourselves and ask for her prayers as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, women, and blessed is, is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people, and what we have asked faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what comes from words, our Saviour Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travel and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son to the end, that all that believe in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. That thou, Lord God of all creation, for thy bounty have we received this bread which we offer unto thee, through the earth and work of human hands, whence it shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed God forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation, for of thy bounty we receive this wine which we offer unto thee, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, whence it shall become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. <coughs> May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice of thine hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. <coughs> we beseech thee, O Lord, mercy, accept the prayers and oblations of thy people, that this beginning of thy paschal mysteries may, by the operation of thy grace, be unto us a wholesome medicine unto everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. And right so to do. It is very meet, right, and abundant duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and hath taken away the sin of the world. Who by his death hath destroyed death and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Therefore, most merciful Father, we humbly pray you through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we ask to accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. We want thee first for thy holy Catholic Church, that thou vouchsafe safety keep her in peace to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with thy servant Francis, our Pope, Keith, our ordinary, and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, and all who here around us stand whose faith is known unto thee in their steadfastness manifest, on whose behalf we offer unto thee, all who themselves offer unto thee this sacrifice of praise, for themselves, for all who are theirs, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their health and well-being, and who offer their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. United in one communion, we celebrate the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. We venerate, moreover, the memory first of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, of the same our God and Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed Joseph, her spouse, as also thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Thaddeus, 
Linus, Clatus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cosoginos, God and Paul, John and Paul, Gospel and Damon, and of all thy saints, grant that by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection. We beseech thee then, O Lord, grace thee to accept this oblation from us, thy servants, and from thy whole family. All thou our days in thy peace, and bid us to be delivered from eternal damnation, and to be numbered in the fold of thine elect. Thou safe, O God, we beseech thee in all things to make this oblation blessed, approved, and accepted, a perfect and worthy offering, that he may become for us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father, giving thanks that he blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after supper, taking also this goodly chalice into his holy and venerable hands. Again, giving thanks that he blessed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Study of faith. Let me this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim thy death, O Lord, until thou come again. Wherefore, Lord, be thy servants and thy holy people also. Remember the blessed past, the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord as also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, to offer unto thine excellent majesty of unknown gifts and bounty, the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. <coughs> For our safe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance and to accept them even as thou didst vouchsafe to accept the gifts of thy servant Abel the righteous and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham and the holy sacrifice the immaculate victim, which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech you, almighty God, command these offerings to be brought by the hands of thy holy angel to thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty, that all we who at this partake of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled with heavenly benediction and grace. Remember also, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids who have gone before us sealed with the seal of faith and who sleep the sleep of peace. To them, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, we beseech to grant the abode of refreshing, of light and of peace. To us sinners also thy servants who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, for our safe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, with all thy saints within whose fellowship we beseech thee, admit us not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create all these good things, to sanctify, quicken, bless, and bestow them upon us. My whom and with whom and in whom, to thee, O Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. 
Our Saviour Christ, the command and taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech you from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints, for we grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy, we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and grant her peace and unity according to thy will. You live us and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but, but seek the word only, and thy soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, 
but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Almighty and ever living God, we, we most heartily thank thee, for thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit, your honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech, O Lord, pour into our hearts thy spirit of charity, that as thou hast now fulfilled us with this paschal sacrament, so we may by thy mercy be enabled to dwell together in unity and concord. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we ask for God's blessing, can I wish you a very happy, blessed and holy Easter. The church is given the privilege of the octave, so for us, Easter day lasts for eight days and there are masses this week and I hope you will come. We will have the masses in, um, in the main church with the exception of Saturday, on Saturday, uh, the Mass will be uh, at Topsham. Uh, the times are just slightly different in the, uh, the, the Mass on Friday will be at 12. And also for those who are keenly aware of timings, I managed to put the, um, I managed to put the Mass times in uh, British Standard Time and Matins in Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> so gr British Standard Time Matins will be at 7.50. 7.50. Oh, and I sh and I, I'm terrible at this. I'm, I, I really want to thank people for all the hard work in this last week. Um, the, the liturgies, music, the cleaning, the, the decorating, it's very much appreciated. Um, and one day I hope that, that more people will come and, and, and have that part of the fellowship um, within the life of this community. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go forth in peace, Alleluia, Alleluia.
and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, hath brought joy to the world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 